It is Windy Wednesday and today we have Bo Coletta from Cellar 54 in Northeast uh, joining us today. Welcome Bo. This is your first time on Windy Wednesday with us. We're glad to have you. That is correct. Good afternoon, Amanda. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about how you came up with the name Cellar 54. So Cellar 54 comes from the history of our family's farm. Um, Coletta Vineyards It was established in 1954 by my great grandparents, Dan and Ann Coletta, or Dan and Alta Coletta, mm -hmm. um, then passed down through the, uh, to their grand, or to their son, Daniel, and uh, on through the line. And so how long have you been making wine? Myself, I've been making wine now for seven years. Okay. I started when I was 19 and uh, have progressed through the years. Because you are the winemaker with, with the family business. Yes. yes. And then how long has the family business been making wine in general? Just for about five months now. So it's a, a new adventure. Brand now. new. But you've had the farm and you've been growing the grapes all this time. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And just started to launch into the business of winemaking. Yeah. What's the best part of it so far? The best part of the winemaking process so far is just being able to you or work with uh, the different varieties of grapes and uh, make different wines and wine styles. Tell us a little bit about your location in Northeast. So our location is in between um, Brickyard Road and Moorheadville Road on Westall, Ro on Westall Road, mm -hmm. um, right on the border of Northeast and Harbor Creek. And when folks come out to, to see you to buy your wines, what will they experience there? They'll experience a cellar atmosphere. Um, you're right on the farm. You got the grapes right out our door. Um, it's awesome in the, the fall months when you get to uh, definitely smell the aromas of all the grapes yeah. in the air and everything. So relatively new business, what wines do you currently have? It's when you get to uh, definitely smell the aromas of all the grapes yeah. in the air and everything. So relatively new business, what wines do you currently have? So I have eight wines available currently. I have four table wines and four premium wines. I have a diversity between sweets and dries and also reds and whites. And I'm sure you're thinking ahead to the future. Uh, now that you've launched this, what are you looking forward to getting into next? Yes, so it's very eager um, to get through this, you know, this past harvest and everything. It was very wonderful. Up uh, on the chopping block next, I have a um, couple table varieties to develop, a lot more sweet wine to add to our um, variety list, as well as a couple premiums too, as well. What is the biggest challenge of launching this new business, Seller 54? Um, so to be quite honest with you, just all of the, uh, the COVID requirements and all of that stuff has really you know, bogged us down a little bit, but it's been a good stepping stone mm -hmm. as well. Um, we've been taking this day by day and just have been enjoying every step that we've had. So Terrific. Far. Well, remember, you have lots of options when it comes to shopping local. If you'd like more information on our local wineries, you can check out lakeriewinecountry.org. Bo, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming yeah, in today. Thank you and for having me. And we will see you many other times here in the future on yes. Winey Wednesday.